What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only Optibottoms coming just with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Hot Toys MMS 379 of Marty McFly from Back to the Future Part 2. Some time ago, I took a look at the Back to the Future Part 1 version. This one, though, is probably my favorite look for him. For the package, you got a really gorgeous... For the package, you got that really iconic Back to the Future Part 2 logo with the DeLorean. You can see that it is done up as the uh, Mark II version of the DeLorean with the uh, Mr. Fusion. You can kind of see that they got the hover conversion going on. One thing that's interesting is that this is the second figure from the Back to the Future 2 line that we've gotten. Uh, I took a look at Doc Brown here a while ago. What's interesting is while they're from the same movie, you can see that the packaging is different, which is interesting. A lot of times Hot Toys doesn't you know, change the packaging for you know characters that are from the same movie. I dig that, but uh, in addition, I'll, I'll set that out to the side, but uh, you just, you know, Marty McFly, all that kind of stuff. You come around in the back and you have various warnings and things of that nature, and you can even see that that's also different. The Doc Brown one was all yellow, whereas Marty's is blue. And then when you lift this up, both of them are a uh, shoebox style package that just slips up just like so. And on the inside here, you can see you have the cast and crew responsible for making the figure, and it's done up to sort of look like that hoverboard, which, again, is different than what uh, the Doc Brown one was, where Doc Brown's was done up to look like uh, his shirt that he wore in Back to the Future 2. So I find it interesting that, like I said, they decided to do different packagings for different characters, but from the same movie. That is fairly unique, and I'm trying to think of another instance where they've done that, and I can't think of one. Obviously, though, uh, you have the uh, insert like I was talking about, and then you move that down, and then you have the open clamshell that fully showcases his accessories as well as the figure. But uh, for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. Like I said, this is my favorite look for Marty from the Back to the Future trilogy. So I'm really excited about this, so without Further ado, let's get this guy out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Marty McFly from Back to the Future Part 2 opened up and out of its packaging. And as I said, this is my preferred look for Marty through all of the movies. I actually remember seeing Back to the Future 2 in theaters. That's how old I am. And I just loved the future. Uh, I loved the look that it portrayed. It was very cartoonish, very colorful. I loved everything that they were wearing. It was just so much fun. And I really was kind of disappointed that we weren't in the future with the movie for that long. But eh, whatever. So starting off first with his accessories coming down here and zooming in. Here we go. We're zooming. Okay. So in addition to the uh, fairly relaxed hands that you can see uh, that are currently on, I'm going to stand back up there. Uh, he comes with a left hand that is wide open, kind of a uh, gesturing sort of hand, just kind of waving his hand around. Uh, he comes with a left and right hand that is kind of closed. I'm not exactly sure what you would use this for. Uh, maybe holding some of the papers or something uh, because I thought at first maybe it was you know f for posing him while he's on the hoverboard. But the way that the thumb is, it it's very uh, gripping looking. Uh, so I don't know necessarily if it's meant for maybe maybe just to hold uh, this this skateboard i mean i guess you could you know kind of do something like that i mean that kind of looks pretty good holding i call that a skateboard how dare i that's terrible so you do get those uh, you get a right and left hand uh, that you can see uh, this one is a little bit more maybe like for a paper type of a thing uh, this one does have more of a round grasp um maybe to hold uh, something I, I don't know hold stuff uh, and then you got another one that uh, well you got a right and left one that's uh, kind of gripping so you do get those hands in case anything happens to the two wrist pegs that are already on there you also do get a couple extra ones I have about a bajillion of these by this point in time uh, now some of the other accessories I guess you could kind of say are part of his actual costume. We'll touch on that here in a bit, but uh, up first, uh, you do get the gray sports almanac. You can see 
1950 to 2000. So at this point in time, we can't really use this because it's now 2018. You also do get the uh, blast from the past uh, store bag. Uh, it is kind of like a vinyl. Um, so that that's pretty cool. You can see though, like mine has like this weird cut on it where it's like not cut all that well. So that's a little bit crappy. Uh, you can take this. It is kind of tricky to do because like I said, it's, it's vinyl. So it's uh, or like vinyl, I don't know. So it's sticky-ish. So you can kind of wedge, well, no. You can kind of wedge that in there like that if you wanted to have some kind of a display for it. But really very cool with this book. You can open it up and you can see that it does have different pages. You probably can't read it because it's too small. But I love that they put that amount of detail. I love that they also did give it a dust jacket because, you know, that was before they had a dust repellent paper. So, <laughs> so you do get that. It is a little bit thin, but it, it's still really nice. Good detail on the back as well. Football, baseball, hockey, golf, tennis, your source for all sports facts. So there you have that. I do kind of wish that uh, in terms of accessories, uh, one thing that I wish they would have included would have been the receipt for it. Because if you remember when they discovered that the time machine was used to take this and go back in time, Doc Brown pulled out the receipt. And he's like, I know, because the, you know, the, the bag and the receipt were in the DeLorean. So uh, that's an accessory I think they could have included, a little, just a little plastic paper thing i mean or blue piece of plastic i mean that really is not that much but uh you do have that uh you also do get uh, now i remember talking about this in the doc brown video that i wish that they would have included the changed newspaper after it says youth was jailed and it had a picture of marty jr it changed after the whole hoverboard incident and it was the gang that was jailed. Hoverboard Rampage de destroys courthouse. So you do get that here now, which I do appreciate. And again, much like that other one, you can open it up and it's got a whole bunch of other kind of articles um, throughout it uh, inside the mail. One thing that I, I thought was kind of interesting, get this kind of straightened back up, but apparently cholesterol may be the cancer cure. So, okay. And then uh, three injured when mom rehydrates pizza slices. So you got to be careful with those pizza slices. They're dangerous. So really nice that you get this as well. Uh, I, I wanted it before. Uh, that was before I got this. Glad to get it now. Uh, you also do get a watch. What is awesome about this watch is uh, now, again, a lot of kids nowadays probably don't even know what this is but it's a calculator watch back in the day we didn't have calculators readily available we had to have big giant ones and uh, we didn't have cell phones and everything so like casio put a calculator on a watch and that's what you have here very very 80s you can see it's got a pretty decent strap i'll put this on the body just to complete the uh, outfit but cool that you get a little tiny watch and then looking at other accessories now this is a little I'm kind of bummed out about this, to be totally honest. Uh, this is a bottle of Pepsi Perfect. Uh, now, one of the things that has kind of gotten some people upset is the lack of branding on a lot of this stuff. And I'll touch on more with some of the other accessories. He, he definitely is not a sponsored kind of guy. Uh, but you can see that the, the bottle is pretty decent. It, it's, it's a good shape. I love the way they got the color in here where you can see it's semi-translucent with the color of the soda in there but the logo is really bad uh it's very oval shaped uh, i they probably did that just and it's definitely not the the right shape that it should be in terms of the like the blue and the red on there it's just it doesn't resemble the pepsi one which is unfortunate but from a distance it kind of looks like what it's supposed to so it's okay but definitely lacking the branding uh setting that there talking about some other stuff as well we have the hoverboard great looking hoverboard but again missing branding on it it doesn't have the mattel logo on there it is what it is uh you got a little strap right here one thing that is cool is it's magnetic uh, i don't know how well that's gonna uh show right here but uh you can see that that is let's see there we go Okay, you put the foot in there and then you put that on and it magnetically grips um, 
that piece right there. So that's that's really cool that they include that for the kind of stability. It says hoverboard. You look at the bottom, really nice detail on that as well. You got the little hover pads or whatever. But again, lacking the branding. Really nice silver strip going across the whole thing. Looks the part very, very nicely. Probably better looking than the actual prop that Maddie Collector made a, a long time ago. But like I said, missing the branding, uh, it does have a bit of a hole right there where the like, stick went. Because remember, at first, this was like a little scooter kind of thing. And then he pulled the actual handlebars off. So really nice on that. Again, I'll show that off more when I uh, take a look at the uh, features on the actual body. And then he comes with uh, his... I don't even know what you call this. Uh, it, it, it's like it's like a duffel bag, but it's made out of plastic and everything. Uh, this opens up, which is great. Uh, this is what had like his shoes and his jacket stored in there. Uh, so you don't necessarily, uh, you know, need that for anything because I, I don't even know honestly if you can fit the jacket and the shoes in here. Uh, you do have a opaque looking side bit right here. But again, this had a Nike brand on it that this does not this still looks really good great detail with like the paint detail uh, added on the inside here you can kind of see those little greenish yellow bits it says footwear i like the fact that it opens um uh, but again no branding um there there, there are third party uh, stickers and stuff that you can put on there uh it's still nice it kind of feels like this is rubbery honestly around the outer rim it kind of grips on there but really nice still just don't really know if you're going to be able to use it for anything uh, now he also does come with an alternate uh hair piece i guess which this is this is actually kind of cool uh the hat itself looks really nice great detail on there you got that in a rainbow effect going throughout there much like the hat did and you can actually remove it uh it's not glued in or anything it does give him a massive bad case of hat hair but, but it can remove if you really want to and then it does just have a magnetic sort of thing that uh, pops on to his head and again i'll show how to do that here in a bit but uh, overall really very cool this is uh, again the look that i like uh, the head that's on there now which is the hair is perfectly fine but i like uh, using the hat and everything so getting this stuff out of the way and then taking a look at his last accessory uh, i mean again except for the outfit which i guess you could kind of say that's uh, a bit of an accessory as well but you know we'll play with that here in a bit so stay there marty uh he does come with a very heavy duty display stand uh, you can see very large marty mcfly back to the future again not a uh, metallic one on there it just looks like it's plastic it's not bad or anything but wish it would have been done a little bit better uh, i do like you have a little bit of a glossy look here this is designed to replicate uh, the water that uh when he was trying to hover over there, you know, those bars don't work over water. And then you got the flexible pillar that allows you to wrap around his waist and have like a floating hover thing. I, I like it. It's good. Again, I, I wish they would include smaller ones. Uh, I, I mean, just taking a look at the one for uh, Doc Brown here. I mean, Back to the Future 2. You can see just the footprint that this thing takes up that this does not and you can see you have the little better metal nameplate on there i mean it's not bad uh, i i just i like the uniform look of having metal nameplates on there so i do wish that they're going to give us something big like this i've talked about this before if you're going to give that to us give us a smaller one as well uh, it's just better for displaying i mean because now if, if you're just going to have him stand there now he's looking like he's just standing on water so it almost makes you have to display him with this oh i didn't even notice that this that rotates around that's that's kind of cool but getting that out of the way but for his accessories that's it like i said uh, i guess you could kind of say that some of the uh, outfit stuff uh, are kind of like accessories like his shoes the jacket things of that nature but uh, outside of the outfit on them that's all you get not a bad amount i am very happy with what they did give us here can't really think of anything too much more that i would have liked to have had uh, like i said maybe a receipt for this but other than that i'm pretty satisfied with these now coming in to take a closer look at the figure uh, again uh, i feel like hot toys has done a terrific job recreating the likeness here to michael j fox it is a different portrait 
Uh, this The expression is different. The other one was a little bit more kind of shocked looking. You can see his eyes are looking off on the side a little bit. Definitely looks like him, though, I think. Uh, if, if I didn't know who it was and I just looked, I would absolutely say that looks like uh, Michael J. Fox. Now, for the uh, hair replacement, I, I will kind of say that his hair kind of looks like it sticks up a little high. Uh, not, it's not as bad uh, as you, you can see. You got a little magnet thing right there, just lifts up just like that. And then you bring the other one in and put that on there. Uh, that looks a little bit better, I think, from the front. It's kind of strange looking, I guess. It doesn't look like it's as down as it should be. And then obviously, if you take it out, yeah, that's really bad hat hair. Uh, but I, I think that this is a really good look uh, for him. Uh, that's my preferred yeah, kind of display form, so that's what I'm going with. Uh, coming down to take a more detailed look at his outfit again. I kind of said, like, these are accessories. Obviously, it's part of his outfit, but gorgeous-looking jacket here. One thing that I am concerned with is uh, the sleeves feel like they're a rubbery material, uh, and we know that Hot Toys does not have a very good track record when it comes to things like rubber. So I don't know if I can treat that with something. Uh, I have seen people that have talked about rubber treatment and stuff like that, and I, I don't know how that would turn out if this would crack over time. That would be my biggest uh, complaint. But the jacket itself looks good. I mean, you can see that it has like this black lower section than the red, and then as you move it, it kind of... I don't know how that's coming across on the camera, but it kind of changes uh, from a darker color to a lighter one. You really, at least for me, you can I, I can see it uh, when you move things around. It, it looks great in hand. You got the little pouches up here. Great detail with like the little buttons down in the bottom. Uh, the, it does have a wire across the, the bottom section, so you can, uh, can flail it out like that. Make it look like uh, he's drying, drying mode on. I mean, you could do something like that. Uh, you do have his pants where his pockets are inside out. He actually didn't just invert his pants. Uh, he just pulled the pockets out because Doc Brown, you know, explained to him that all kids in the future wear their pants like that. They wear them inside out. And I like that they included that as well. Uh, the jeans look pretty good. Uh, one thing that I do have a problem with is when you come down here uh, because of how high these come up. Now you can kind of bunch it and get it to go underneath uh, the cuff thing uh, of the shoe. But as it is, that looks a little bit ugly. Uh, maybe if these were just not as big uh, i mean like i said you can kind of tuck them in there but if you move the the legs around or something they're going to come out so you do have to if you're going to position it just kind of wedge those in there kind of mitigate that and then we come down to the famous air mag tennis shoes uh unfortunately again no branding uh there is no nike swoosh on here there's no nike anywhere really kind of unfortunate uh really does nail the look of it i think uh, you got that translucent rubbery material here in the bottom which looks great and then you have like these little light up sections right there uh kind of replicates the power laces with the little molded detail but uh again um just the lack of branding kind of ruins the realism. I understand why it's not there. I mean, Hot Toys would have then had to pay uh, a licensing fee to Nike or Mattel or anything like that. And to keep the cost down, obviously, they're not going to do that kind of stuff. So, well, there you go. Um, so, I, I get it. I, I do. I, I just... I wish there was more uh, in, in terms of the, the detail with it. Now, uh, first articulation, uh, the next section here is on a ball joint, so you can rotate right there, and then it kind of pivots. Well, the whole thing can come off, so just pull his head off if you want to. Uh, put that, get on there. And then it does have a lower neck joint as well. I guess one thing that you could kind of say is uh, you could probably slip this off and I don't know if you can take these. You might be able to take the pockets and kind of stuff them in there. But the uh, shirt here, the the jeans, not so much the shoes, is basically the outfit that he wore when, uh, say, he confronted Biff when he went to the alternate 1985. Uh, and uh, Biff was basically Donald Trump, and he was in charge of everything. That's The, the shirt and the jeans are kind of what he wore. Uh, if you have the original 
uh, Marty McFly. You could probably swap out his shoes. Uh, he doesn't wear socks, uh, so you're probably going to do that, but you could probably swap out his shoes and create that look more, or you could just leave these on and just have the shirt and jeans if you want to have a alternate outfit form uh, but uh, you do have that you do have a lower neck section right here that does move in and out uh, the shoulders move freely they move in and out there's not much restriction because of the uh, the sleeves or anything so you get a good range of motion does rotate at the upper part he's got two bends here at the elbow come down to the wrists those do rotate and then they have the little wrist peg thing that lets you move it all over the place does have a upper ab section and then a lower waist section the hips move forward but then again that happens move back they move in and out uh, the jeans are a fairly light material so there's really no restriction in, in the leg movement whatsoever rotates at the upper part of the thigh does he have two joints here at the knee yeah two joints at the knee but again pulls that out so it does look a little bit ugly so you will have to adjust that and play with it so standard level of articulation uh, with the guy it, it, it looks really good. Uh, it is my preferred look for Marty McFly. And honestly, I think that the, the portrait is better uh, on this one. Uh, the other one, like I said, was a bit more of a kind of shock surprise. I wish I still had it, but in order to get this, I sold that one. Um, not everything comes to me for free. So I had to sell that one to be able to get this guy. So it's just the way that it is. Uh, that's, that's life for you sometimes. So uh, I can't, unfortunately, compare that. You can go back and rewatch my old video, but uh, I do think that the portrait does look better. Uh, the hat does look a little bit strange. From the side, it's not that bad from the front. It, it does kind of look like it sits up a little bit higher. Kind of wish it came a little bit further down by his ears. But I do really like how like they got the little hair going over his ears. So overall, really good release. Uh, my favorite look for uh, Marty from the Back to the Future trilogy. And just a, a very solid presentation. Now, wow, I felt like the Doc Brown figure from Back to the Future 2 was kind of lacking in terms of some accessories. I feel that Hot Toys really did make up for it with their Marty McFly. He actually does come with a really good amount of stuff. Everything from the hoverboard to his you know, little duffel bag thingy to the magazine to the uh, newspaper to the uh, swappable hat thing to the little bottle of Pepsi. I mean, all of it is really good. And then the figure itself really does look terrific. I think that the likeness on this one is better than that first one. The costume and outfit, I think, is pretty much spot on with the exception of the shoes missing the brand logos. And as I said several times already, this is my preferred look. I loved this outfit in the franchise. Everything about it is just super fun. And you also kind of get the added bonus of having an outfit that he kind of sort of wore later on in the movie with just the shirt and the jeans. There are some things that I wish were done differently. Number one, the base. I wish we got a smaller one. If you're going to have it displayed like this, it works perfectly fine because it kind of makes him look like he's hovering, which is cool. I mean, you got this big giant pole in the back, but you know, whatever. Uh, I do wish his pants were longer and allowed you to kind of hide the like ankle area. But if you play with it, you can get it. And then, you know, hey, I, I just as a little extra accessory, I wish that he came with the, the receipt for this, but not bad. Now, I know that Doc Brown and Marty McFly are really not characters that a lot of people nowadays love he's definitely not iron man but for me who grew up in the 80s this is the best representation of this character that we have ever gotten now the only thing that i personally need to complete the collection would be a back to the future 2 version of the delorean i really hope that hot toys releases that they've teased it now we just gotta get it but all that being said, if the Back to the Future 2 version of Marty McFly is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection, he is available right now at Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the wide range of Hot Toys 1-6 scale figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotamus. Don't forget that if you like this video, I would really appreciate you letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It actually does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. 
Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you're already subscribed, now more than ever it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is, and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, be excellent to each other.